didn't I tell you niggas? All you niggas who was trying to paint Brianna Taylor as, oh, the trap queen and because she was involved in an investigation and all this bullshit, right, that she was guilty and basically she got what she, basically what she deserved, right? She got what she had coming to her because of the lifestyle and the, the people she uh, uh, associated herself with, the, the circle she was in, right, and the shit she was involved in, right? Well, once again, wasn't I tell, telling y'all about that warrant, how they should have never been there that night and how they lied to get the no-knock warrant, right? So all you niggas who, who was like, see your case, right? Breonna Taylor was involved in this, so this is why this happened. Case closed, right? Why is the Louisville uh, police looking to fire two more officers? The one who got the no-knock warrant and the one who fired the fatal bullet. Right. Right. Why, why would they be doing that? Let me read this shit. Let me just stop talking. Because I feel a type of way about this. Because I, I stood on that. I stood on that. They shouldn't have never been there that day. The officer lied to get a warrant. Which means they need to be held accountable for that shit. The Louisville Metro Police Department is seeking to fire two more officers in the police shooting of Breonna Taylor. One who sought the no-knock search warrant for her apartment and a second who fired the fatal, fatal bullet. Detective Joshua James received a pre-termination letter Tuesday from interim chief Yvette Gentry after a professional standards unit investigation found he had violated department procedures for preparation for a search warrant execution. Mm, preparation for a search warrant execution. I, I could have sworn we had a conversation about that too, right? Because these motherfuckers just, you know, did a freelance mission, right? SWAT ain't know what they was doing. Just a straight freelance mission. Anyway, let's get back to it. Uh, Violated department procedures for preparation for a search warrant execution and truthfulness. Wow, truthfulness. Do that surprise you? Uh, <laughs> that the truthfulness of a police officer is getting questioned? <laughs> His attorney, Thomas Clay, said, Detectives Miles Cosgrove, who the FBI concluded fired the shot that killed Taylor, also received a pre-termination letter. His attorney, Jared Beck, confirmed Tuesday evening. It's possible more officers involved in a raid or the related narcotics investigation. God damn. Back to that investigation. You know, the investigation that was uh, approximately four years long and the motherfuckers ain't find shit when they decided to raid a house. Right. You talking about that investigation? Oh, that's I think so. Let's keep reading. It's possible more officers involved in a raid or related narcotics investigation could face additional discipline. LMPD has not released its professional standards unit investigation, which the Courier Journal previously reported included at least six officers. Wow. In Jane's pre-termination letter, Gentry said he committed extreme violations of our policies. Wow. Which endangered others. Ain't that what I've been saying the whole time? That the motherfucking cop that lied to get the no knock warrant put all the motherfuckers at risk ain't that ain't i been saying that oh okay your actions have brought discredit upon yourself and the department she wrote your conduct has severely damaged the image of our department of our the damage the image our department has established within our community james an officer since 06 has closed has a closed hearing with Gentry and her staff Thursday morning. Detective James and I will show up for the pre-termination hearing to try to convince acting chief Gentry that this action is unwarranted. Right. Clay said James did nothing wrong. <laughs> Gentry's decision comes just days before Mayor Greg Fisher has said he plans to announce his pick for Louisville's new permanent police chief. Gentry, an interim chief, has said she didn't want the position, and a nationwide search was launched this summer. In an email sent Tuesday evening, let's see if any of this is relevant. I don't care about no police chief or none of that. I don't even live there. You know what I'm saying? Shout out my nigga Brandon, huh? Uh, yeah, man. I'm, I'm, 
I ain't even finna read all this, man. Y'all y'all get the gist of it. Uh, y'all can go look this up and read the rest of it. But y'all y'all see what's going on. Just a little update. They they finally uh speaking on what really matters. I guess it took a while. Damn near a whole goddamn year. <laughs> 